Okay, hello YouTube. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to download Windows 7, the new RC1 build, directly from Microsoft. Which is very handy, you get much faster speeds than you would from getting Rapid Share or whatever. So, this link right here, which I've just copied, is the one you're going to need, which I'll put in the description of the video to the right. So, simply copy and paste that like I just did. Go onto your web browser. It has to be um, Internet Explorer. It doesn't work in Firefox because it's a direct Microsoft product or Safari if you use that. But yeah, copy the link into the address bar and go to it. Then when it loads, it will take you to the Windows 7 homepage, as you can see. So you can have a little bit of a read through it if you want, but the bit you're interested in is right here. So when you found that bit on the page, just click the download it here. Which takes you to this page telling you you're downloading the current release candidate. And if you scroll down, the only really important bit on this particular page is this bit saying that it will expire June 2010. But you know, by then the RTM build will be well and truly out. And if you enjoy this RC1 build, I suppose you'll probably have either bought it or downloaded it. So, yeah. No. If your spec is lower than that, frankly, you shouldn't bother with this. But I'm sure there will be tweaks around sooner or later that will help you bypass them. But, you know, try and abide by that. And then the next bit which you need to pay attention to is this. If you want the 32 or 64 bit build, um, the 32 bit build will work on 64 bit processors, but 64 bit will only work on either Athlon 64, Pentium D, Core 2, Duos, and Quads, things like that. So if you've got an older processor, that won't work. But anyway, I'm going to go for the 32-bit build purely because I've got a 32-bit system here. So yeah, choose your language and click go. Right then, the page it takes you to now is a quite important one. You need to make sure you save this serial. I've got loads, so if you need one, I'll keep that in the description to the right of the video so you have one you can use but um, yeah that's important make sure you don't lose your own because that keeps you genuine you can use each one ten times so if you want to burn the disc and give it to your mates or whatever there's a serial you can give it, all of the ten activations are valid until 2010 but after then they all become invalid so yeah so once you've wrote that down or printed it off or whatever click the download now button now, I've already done this, but for you, you'll have to agree to the ActiveX applet at the top, and then it will take you to another page, which Microsoft randomly give you another serial, if you wanted it. I don't know why you would, because you've already got one. But anyway, once you've uh, clicked download now again, it will take you to the actual download for the file. So make a memorable folder. I already made one and called it Win7, right there. Then let it save as its actual name, click save. Then it will come up with this download manager from the ActiveX control and you'll notice it's 2.3 gig so it's pretty large. But if you leave it to download overnight I'm sure it will get finished by then and I'm going to do the same. So I will come back to this tomorrow with a hopefully completed download and I'll be able to finish this video off for you. So yeah, I'll be back after it's finished. Okay, hello, this is me now back after the download's finished. I left it overnight and yeah, it's all there. So I will now exit this yep. and I'll quickly show you where it has downloaded to. I set the download path to be Win7, just there. I was taking it. <coughs> there we go. You can see that I've got. <coughs> I saved the link to it and a few serials in there. I'll put one in the link so the first ten of you can use that. But then yeah, here is the ISO gonna open with Nero. All right, you will whatever in you want to burn it with. You want to make sure you burn it no faster than four times, otherwise it can become corrupted. So I'm going to set it to two, and then I'm going to burn it. So. 
that's really all you need to know so you can burn it and it will work as an upgrade disc from Vista or XP but not from 98 it um, can be used as a boot disc if you want to install it you could partition Vista or XP do it that way however you want to do it it's basically a retail disc but you know still in the beta form but yeah there are plenty of cracks you can get your hands on to get rid of that annoying little note which just comes at the bottom right of the screen that's not difficult at all to get rid of and using this method you can get your own serial so you can have it activated until June um, 2010 but you know the first 10 of you if you're having a bit of trouble with it you can use the serial which I will put in the description so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you like Windows 7 it's not my favourite operating system but well it's always good to ch test out for free legally so yeah there you go. Enjoy.